Welcome to my channel. I decided to show you my current progress in Creative Heaven Country Kitchen Charm by Teresa Goodrich. It's one of the Teresa books where I have biggest amount of finished pictures and one day I hope to finish it. But of course I have still a lot of work ahead of me. So let me show you what I have here. It's really very fun to color this book because each time when I start a new page I feel a little bit like interior designer. I try to use different colors for wallpapers, for wooden furniture and yes, this book really helped me to practice various color palettes for wood a little bit more reddish, a little bit more yellowish, so it really was very helpful. Mostly I color here with Prisma color pencils, as they are my favorite medium from Teresa Goodrich books, but sometimes here I also add markers for the background. Unfortunately, apart from more interesting pictures like those interiors, which I do love to color. Here we have also several collages and they are um, designed in very primitive way. I really dislike those uh, leaves, branches, but I think that if I color everything here and this picture I will need to color in order to finish this book, then I maybe will experiment with gouache and alcohol markers and I will do some quick work here, not bothering to do something very special here. I decided that such pictures I really can use for practicing for gouache, for example. But of course, much more <laughs> interesting pictures for me are those interiors. I have kitchens in blue, I have kitchen in green, I try to do some more, um, more modern pictures, more rural so it's really very interesting to look at the next project, to think what kind of uh, kitchen, what kind of um, family can own such kitchen and starting from this thought to start thinking about color palettes. That's page where I did a background with markers and it really helped me to save a lot of time. And here I used two color palettes for the wood. I think that it's such a way it started to look a little bit more interesting. One big problem of this book is that many elements here, they are uh, depicted with very thick lines. That's the thing which I absolutely dislike about this book. And huge amount of effort goes into masking those lines. First, I started to use Posca, as I usually do, but Posca pens, they are not able to mask, mask lines completely. So recently I started also to use gouache paints with their opaque, opaque texture. They are probably a better choice for masking very thick lines here. Um, here I also transformed some of the leaves into flowers. Um, just to be able to add a couple of bright, colorful accents apart from the other elements which I did in more um, muted colors. You can see here I have pink kitchen and wood also has uh, has two colors. One color palette here, slightly more reddish here. As I said, <laughs> very helpful for practicing how to do textures. Oh well, this one was one of the most complicated, mostly because of white china, which I wanted to do here, and maybe because of my not very wise color choice for the tablecloth. White china on white tablecloth, it's a nightmare <laughs> of coloring. Uh, maybe on better paper, all my delicate pastel shadows, which I did with gray, lavender, cream, maybe they would be better visible. Here I can't say that it was exactly like I imagined. Maybe I had to use more contrast color for tablecloth and picture would be a little bit better with stronger contrasts. But many other elements, like this beautiful flower composition and the cupboard with so many interesting things on the shelves, it was a pleasure to color. The most 
terrible part here is those strawberries. They look awful. But I think that at least this teapot, it looks shiny, it looks three-dimensional. So of this part, I am really proud. Next page, it's much more simple initially, but it looks better comparing to previous one. For myself, I describe this one as Italian kitchen, because we have wine, we have uh, various sorts of pasta. Uh, so that's where I started. I think that here are my best elements were those glasses, how I did all reflections and highlights here to show that they are made from clear glass, how I added couple of um, strong color accents for the for those uh, vase and for the second element of tableware here how I did metal so I think that it, it's one of my best pictures in the book I don't know why but um, you can see that I almost colored this book in order it wasn't specifically I just uh, start to look at my next project at the end I think that oh I have idea for this page I can imagine it in as my next project so I am very pleased that in the beginning I have already so many finished pictures another experiment maybe for myself I wouldn't select such color for the tiles and for the walls in my kitchen but it's really interesting to do something one page in green one page in beige traditional colors one page in pink so this time i decided to experiment with various shades of blue colors and i think that especially on the curtain beige and uh, bright blue it really looks interesting nice color combo i always love it well, I'm not a big fan of coloring animals in Teresa Goodrich books. I never know how to do it properly. Maybe I'm just too lazy. I always color them on the last step. But at least here, cat, it was nice, so I colored it relatively easy. That's another uh, college page, but here I decided that if I combine markers plus my felt tip pens, it will help me to color it quicker. And also it gives me opportunity to use art supplies, which I have been, but which I don't use very frequently to justify myself to own set of felt tip pens, for example. I think that in the end it looks not bad. I try to distribute uh, more like, calm colors steel or for wood and more bright colors for kitchen mittens for those bright candies in the shape of heart or those bright cream on the cake so i tried to distribute them throughout of this page and in the end i decided that uh, this soft delicate blue will look nice on this um, grayish pink background background it's markers uh, couple of elements also markers and the rest it's uh, Prismacolor pencils. But if you need it, you can watch video on my channel. Well, maybe on some of the elements I was too lazy, maybe I need to mask lines better. But sometimes when I color such colleges, my patience run out very quickly. That's another one which I liked from the beginning, but where I'm not completely happy with the result. Um, when I looked at it, I immediately got this idea that even if all the kitchen herbs will be in various shades of green, um, I need to add a couple of bright accents. So apart from fruits here, I decided to do colorful flower pots. But my biggest problem here was those curtains with huge amount of thick black lines. Yes, they represented faults, but for me, for my very light colors which I selected for those curtains, it was a nightmare. And that was page where I realized that probably for such thick lines it's much better to use paint. Because when I, even if I try to apply a couple of layers of Posca here, ivory and white, it doesn't look very accurate. And impression from those curtains, it messed up my impression from the whole page. So, well, 
and many areas here very thick black lines here and on those strange flowers I spent so many time on so much time on masking lines that I started to forget how to enjoy coloring here there are many lovely lovely pictures here which I still want to color so now start <laughs> area where I don't have finished projects well I would call this one as one of the most original pictures and here I wanted to do very bright tiles. I was inspired by traditional Portuguese blue and white art of creating tiles, but I also added a little bit of terracotta. Uh, what I do love is how I did those um, brass, copper uh, tableware together with steel. Um, then I decided that uh, I need more colorful accents, so flowers and those pots also have very vibrant color. And at least here, <laughs> a dog, it was small and simple, so I simply shaded it a little bit with gray. And again, new color combo for wood. It has more um, peach beige and a reddish color accents, so another interesting experiment. Oh well, those college pages, they are frightening. But as I said, I hope that if they will be the last, it will be motivating me to color them somehow. Look at those pages with so many baked goods, so many yummy things. That's why I really love this book. And I think that compositions really are beautiful. So we have various styles of kitchens and we have various views of them. So not boring not boring at all. This one I called Provence Kitchen because I immediately decided that my cupboard will be in that shabby chic style. Maybe it was initially painted with blue, but now as it's old, it mostly has a beige and a gray colors for the wood. And I decided to make here lavender, again to support the idea of Provence. I think that because of the dark background, it looks really nice. Light wood and dark background, they worked together really well. This one I did during one of the fall seasons. So, of course, I was attracted to this beautiful basket with vegetables. Here, I love everything apart from this corner. Uh, don't use gray color to shade your peach beige or uh, seashell pink colors, it would look dirty. But what I do love here is that I tried to do blue furniture and I think that they also look lovely together with traditional wooden colors. And to show that it's fall season, you can see that my trees, they are yellow. If you ask me which will be my next project, this one really nice another interesting composition we can see interior part we can see outside part nice building behind and everything prepared for nice tea party a lot of sandwiches baked goods everything exactly like i prefer well those thick lines they are awful honestly but i still hope that with so many art supplies which I collected, Posca pens, acrylic paint, gouache paint, I, I will manage to mask them. Yeah, they are the worst part of this book. But apart from it, this book definitely is on top of my list of Creative Heaven Teresa Goodrich books. This one I will save for winter season, obviously. Oh, well, that's another one. It's a pity that I didn't color it during tulip season. It has some more posh look. Um, well, chairs are more in country style, but those windows and the uh, lamp, they have different style. I have to think which colors I would use here. Another very interesting summer kitchen outside, for, ready for barbecue. I think that here, as we have fire and as we have those lamps, I can try and to do evening picture. I love to do evening pictures where you can do strong contrast between source of light, 
fire or lamps and dark sky. And it's another one of my favorites because I really love my work on wood, shading on wood. How I managed to <laughs> color all the wooden parts around the sink, around the sink, on the table, on the cupboards, and plus those fall compositions. I really love this one. Well, this one was almost ruined because. Um, when I started to mask very thick black lines on the tablecloth, I totally disliked this effect. I didn't manage to. Uh, when I masked lines, I lost uh, shadows on the fabric folds, so <laughs> I also lost inspiration. So, and many areas of here are like this. Yummy things or those uh, balloons, I colored without inspiration. Start was good when I started to do those cupboards, the oven and other things, but when I messed up with the tablecloth, and well, I was disappointed in myself, I was disappointed in this book. But then, uh, after a short break, after a couple of months, I returned to this one with much more inspiration, much more strong spirit and yes I hope that one day I will manage to finish it and until that moment I have I hope that I will have enough creative ideas for various kitchen styles various colors for wallpapers to be able to make this book really interesting and pictures even if they all are about kitchens I hope that they won't be very boring and very similar one to each other and book will be beautiful. So, I hope that I inspired you to look at this book because, yeah, if you love Teresa Goodrich style, despite very thick lines, I still think that it's one of the best of her works. Thank you, and I hope that somewhere in December, if I still do videos, I will show you next step in my progress and many more finished pictures here. Thank you, and until the next videos.